I love me a bag that not only complements my outfit, but is functional as well. And so here is how bags of all varieties, in my opinion, became a staple in men's fashion. And I'm skipping a lot of steps, by the way. First off, we all know that bags have been around since humans have been alive. We use it to carry wood, food, and then in the modern times, we use it to carry a laptop, expensive ass textbooks, UNM, I want my money back. There are bags for photographers, students, businessmen, but how did bags like these make it into a male's wardrobe. Well, we need to talk about Supreme. Yes, Supreme has had a major, major impact in the culture of fashion, and I'd say they are the reason why the streetwear community decided to even throw these bags on our bodies. Of course, bags were always seen on the runway for men, but 2017 was a little different. This was a time when Supreme collaborated with Louis Vuitton, and this bag was seen on the runway, and it just blew up. People went crazy. Then in spring, summer 2018, this bag was released. You'd see a ton of these bags everywhere when walking down the street and of course on social media Jerry Lorenzo top of their class in 2017 they were seen wearing it along with a ton of other celebrities and it became a very big deal because other companies decided to hop on this wave and they started making their own branded bags and thus a spark of interest for men to start wearing some sort of bag which just goes to show that trends aren't always a bad thing because they can be a gateway to finding what you like so long as what you like isn't hopping from trend to trend because everyone everyone knows this guy who tries every single diet but they still don't get any results but anyways social media was a big factor especially on YouTube and Instagram a ton of influencers decided to make videos on it or create outfits with it one of my worst videos became one of my most popular videos talking about crossbody shoulder bags and all that and let me show you a little bit of analytics ever since it was uploaded 86% of people that watched this video searched for it and that says a lot but let's roll it back we've been wearing bags since we were a child we had backpacks laptop bags and of course a gym staple the duffel bag and of course a leather one for the ultimate bad boy points Oh man, look, he's so bad. But that's where it always stops for a lot of guys. I don't mean to bring some politics on this channel, but we all know a time when guys would see a bag and be like, nah, 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 nah. Yo, that's too feminine. I'ma throw everything in my pocket like a real man. And there's no denying it. You guys know it was a different time. Hell, Bully McGuire got away with this line back in 2001. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? We were drilled to think bags were feminine probably because of media in general. Nowadays, I just believe that guys, for the most part, are just more comfortable with their masculinity and don't even think twice about looking masculine or not. At least that's what I hope for. And I said for the most part, because there is a community of guys out there that just are obsessed with looking alpha 24 7 365. Like that's all they think about. And it just comes off as overcompensating by trying to prove how masculine they are all the time with any interaction they have. And hey, no shame if that's you, that's totally cool. I myself went through that. Hopefully it's a phase and you're gonna get over it. But being comfortable with your masculinity helps you free mental energy, mental bandwidth, and you can just start doing you, not having to worry about Yo, like, do I look tough? Am I, am, I, am I taking up enough space? Am my posture good? Am I speaking in a neutral tone of voice? And then for me, I just was more open-minded to other things like trying different cuts of clothing, different color palettes. So I do believe that most guys are starting to grasp this. Hence why you see guys nowadays throwing various bags on them. Could be a super masculine one or it could be an item that you mostly see the ladies wear, something like a tote bag. And last, guys are starting to see how actually useful they are. Of course, we do have deep pockets. They can hold a lot of stuff, but it can look stupid. If, they're, if you got items bulging out of your pants. Even if you have cargo pants, it doesn't matter. If it's full and stuffed, it looks stupid. And nowadays we're starting to carry more stuff. You know, we got sunglasses, breath mints or gum, AirPods, an inhaler if you have asthma, your keys, your wallet, we got a ton of things. And especially with the situation of 2020, we got hand sanitizers and extra face masks on top of that. We need something to carry all of this. And that's where bags come in. Of course, you can always find something that's going to fit your style. Like if you're a dog dad, a smaller bag is perfect for carrying poop bags and treats. If you're a traveler or you live in a big city, sling bags are perfect for organizing your suitcase or walking around the city without getting your stuff stolen. And, and nowadays with everyone being a photographer, Brands like Peak Design, Manfrotto, and many others have served the community. If you're a minimalist, almost any bag from Uniqlo is a good choice for you. Or you can roll with a tote bag, which is also great for grocery shopping, by the way. Take this with you whenever you go shopping. I always bring it to me whenever I go to Soho or if I go grocery shopping. Technical Fashion has a ton of brands that make slings for that specific aesthetic. There are bags for cyclists and many others. I think there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't pick up a sling bag, a crossbody bag, shoulder bag, or a tote bag. Any bag, because there's always going to be something 
something for you. And finally, we know how much it complements your outfit. With a very simple outfit, yeah, it could be complemented with jewelry, but really a bag is all that you need. I always gravitate towards a shoulder bag or a tote bag if I find the fit is too bland. So not only is it functional by holding your stuff and keeping it protected from the weather, it adds another texture or pop of color to your outfit, which gives it more depth and dimension, making your outfit that much better. So let's talk about the bags I have. One more thing I forgot to say is the nostalgia bait we've all experienced getting older. There's a reason why there's always a Jordan 1 release, it's that nostalgia bait. So the cycle is always roughly 20 to 30 years with fashions, hence why the 80s and 90s were back and why fanny packs came back. So let's start with the first bag that I own and is a type of bag I recommend for everyone and that you've been seeing throughout the video because one, not many guys rock this and two, it's the perfect bag to bring whenever you're going out and that is the tote bag. Now this one specifically comes from Oray NYC, uh, big shout out to Ray Mia. This has extra pockets on the outside and the inside and has a key holder and is a cream color making it complement pretty much any type of streetwear outfit or men's casual outfit. Almost every store sells their own tote bag, even where I got this plant, they sell their own tote bags. Just pick up whatever you like, it might be a brand, it might be a message on it. But yeah, tote bags are awesome. These next few bags all come from Orbit Gear. Here's all the similarities they share. They all have a three axis sling and they are all waterproof. Now let's start off with this hip bag that I've owned for a while now. Basically it's a fanny pack shape with the advanced sling system. It's got a front pocket, the main pocket and an inner pocket. Pretty decent organization. I would just use this one for taking my dog out but I don't really use it as much. So if anyone wants to buy this off of me, you can just hit me up on Instagram. And the next Orbit Gear bag is probably the most versatile one that I have and that is the Steel Falcon Messenger bag. And what I love about this is it has the perfect amount of storage. It's the right size. So it has two buckles up front for extra security and the front flap is aligned with velcro making it even more secure and after lifting it there's this mini pocket up front and this is where I keep my hand sanitizer and chapstick and all that then there's the main pocket with a divider this bag is capable of holding my 13 inch laptop which is why I love it so much and yeah overall it's my favorite bag it perfectly complements that tech look or you can rock it with more street outfits to add more tactical elements to it and the last orbit gear bag that I have is the Falcon Duke think of this like a tote bag but it has the three axis sling system and it's waterproof so it carries the same amount as a normal tote bag if not more but it has extra storage up front and the back of the bag has a mod system so there's these like little grooves that you can buy mods and strap it to it so these mods you can have like extra storage it could be a water bottle carrier and there's also a pocket here as well up front we have a clip and this is going to allow you to clip anything you want. I typically clip my keys around here. You can also do your water bottle, totally up to you. And also there's two pockets up front aligned with Velcro and a button. And this is where I typically keep my phone. So already there's a ton of storage up front. And to access the main portion of the bag, there's a YKK zipper system. YKK zippers are just really good. <laughs> and then so inside there's a big main pocket and then there's also a big laptop pocket it could probably hold a 17 inch laptop i'm just using this surface pro as an example and yeah that's this bag i would definitely use it to travel or if i have to carry a lot of stuff with my laptop this is the bag i'm bringing or i'll just rock it for photo shoots now this next bag i wear way too much so this bag is the uniqlo shoulder bag i don't think they sell it at the moment but they have an alternative version i'll try and link everything i mentioned in the description below what i love about this is it's just as technical yet just as simple as a tote bag and this also has a three axis shoulder strap so you got the main strap and then on the side of the bag there's another strap you can clip onto the main strap so it can make it even more secure and that way you're not going to lose your bag or get it stolen now this bag is completely waterproof this is Uniqlo's block tech technology so a lot of their parkas and windbreakers have the block tech technology and it's completely waterproof there's also a side pocket where I keep my hand sanitizer it's easy access and also you can tuck away that third axis strap if you just want to rock it like a traditional messenger bag and inside the bag it's nothing really special there's the main pockets there's also a key clip for easy access to your keys definitely useful because you know exactly where your keys are you don't have to dig around in your bag for it and there's also a mini pocket with a button as well it's not the greatest but it does its job and last but not least is my bag for photography you don't have to get this just for photography if this one also has a traditional type of fanny pack shape but what I love about this is it comes with dividers and the dividers you can fold in half for extra cushioning for your camera that way it doesn't get damaged there's also an inner pocket where this is where I keep my ND filters and there's a zip pocket on the inside where you can add your batteries your SD cards and all that and there's a front zip pocket and this is where I keep all my miscellaneous stuff and again like all the other bags this bag is waterproof as well and you kind of need it because you have thousands of dollars worth of camera gear so 
it better be waterproof. And that is all my bags. Very useful, especially if you live in a big city. Definitely recommend picking one of these bags up or any bag of your choice. This is just what I own. We know what else is just as useful, not only for your outfits, but for life. Learning a new skill with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes that millions come together to learn anything. If you're a curious person or just <laughs> emotionally drained from 2020 like I am, I always come here to learn something new. It's a great way to take your mind off of everything that's been going on, and honestly, it makes me a whole lot happier. There's a ton of classes from photography, graphic design, business, interior design, design, drawing, cooking, whatever you're interested, they've got you covered. I've explored a ton of classes offered here. Definitely check out Staples of Branding by Jeff Staple. If you're wanting to learn more about the clothing business, designing clothes and all that. And Thomas Frank is great for improving your productivity. He's one of my favorite YouTubers because we've all been lacking there this year. I can admit that. Currently, I've been re-watching this class by Emily Henderson. You guys know I just moved back to New York and the place is starting to come together. I've learned a lot from Emily. This is what my place looked like before and here it is now. Pretty solid job. Thanks, Emily. By the way, my couch comes today. Don't make fun of me. But I definitely recommend checking this class out if you're moving or if you just want to switch up your current space. And since you guys do watch my channel, only the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. All you have to do is click the link below, start exploring some classes, and afterwards, it's only going to be $10 a month on an annual subscription. That's way more affordable than other forms of learning. UNM, give me my money back. <laughs> There's always a class for everyone. Definitely check it out. And thank you guys in advance for visiting that link. It definitely helps me out. And thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was a pretty fun video to make. Not to edit, not to edit. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, you know, breaking down things, talking about the history stuff, that's, it's kind of fun to me, a good switch up from the typical lookbook. So let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Ty, and subscribe.